Hey there, Droy here, and welcome back to Delta Games Train Simulator TS Classic. Uh, today, doing service on this Class on Survive Network unit from hitting on the Marlebone to Jarrah's Cross to support your so minute journey time and uh, yeah, taking the journey on the Just Trains London to Ellsbury route. So, welcome back, welcome everybody. It's been a little while since I started trains on this channel, so I thought we'd bring it back a little short route and do a little service um, today from London to the outskirts. So departure at Marlebone is at 13.44, it's now 13.41.42, so set train up, prepare ourselves for departure, and shortly be on our way. So passengers first, master will bring the end, train set forward, set the headlights to Shimmy Day, day Head, but to be by Pipes Mr. Train, and uh, yes, press T, to open the doors. So they're passed up on service, uh, which departure's at 44, so we've got about a minute and a half to when you get ourselves ready to go. But hopefully, we'll get to plan, it should be out on time. Uh, not too bad today, welcome to all the chat. For some reason, my chat is not appearing on this screen, which is very useful. In the wrong menu. There we go. Uh, welcome, Nedias. Welcome, Kendall. Welcome, Nikolaos. How are you doing? Nikolaos, sorry. Nikolaos, yes. Uh, welcome, welcome, welcome. How are you doing today? So, yeah, door will close and do an instant train sim. So, we depart at 13.44. Uh, in terms of service today, we're stopping at London Marlebone, we're stopping at Wembley Stadium, Sudbury Hill Harrow, North Ops Park, South Ryslip, West Ryslip, Denham, Denham Golf Club, and Gerard's Cross Train Terminates. We'll then put into the uh, reverse sliding, but then another driver take over for the next service. Uh, we can also do announcements, so if I get our onboard guard to do announcements, I'll just activate it, thank you very much. I'm a little bit as well, it's absolutely quiet there. Right, so we can to go. Let's do a quick announcement. Okay, announcements are very quiet apparently. I can really turn up the volume too much, but give it a go, I guess. But they yeah, separate little tools, yes, and last year. This is what I'm using, so they've got a third rail map, of course, on the side. I can't see because my screen's a little bit. Uh, so, yeah, have got a third rail map, and then the GSMR radio, and a HUD radio stuff. Uh, can I set up the overlay for it? Well, I'll try to figure out later, because of course I've got the parts. Let's put the parts in the well, out the uh, monitor. Like I say, it's been a little while since I did train sims, so of course my setup's a little bit all over the place. Look at the display capture, I'm just going to set up the main monitor, thank you very much. And then just drag it to the bottom and hide you. Perfect. Uh, but of course, chat, so we're chatting away, so. Oh well, we're in the, the world. Yeah, GSMR radio. Uh, so that's the Federal's map, and GSMR at the bottom for the service that's what he's calling. Uh, so, on Train Simulator. There's definitely um, LNER and a hard translation as well. Thank you there to uh, Plex, subscribe on Twitch. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much. Welcome aboard. Uh, of course, this is, this is predominantly train sim uh, flights on this channel, so it's will be the flights and promos and stuff. But subscribe to Prime. Thank you very much, dude. Thank you very much, Plex. Much appreciated. On the channel, welcome to the chat. Today, dude. Let's come on, I've got the uh, train timetable. I don't really lose that. There we go. Of course, if you are tracking us on Third Rail's map, you can do so via the link of that's dropping to there now. Start a little bit. Just want to do. Not this one. Yeah, so if you check our train today, you can do so via the link now in chat. Just like uh, the other video whereby, or um, Valanta is essentially tracking that for train simulator. Next station, Wembley Stadium. Uh, next flight some stream should be tomorrow, Nicholas. Or guess the plan should be tomorrow. Uh, Transit Mod 2 is pretty good for the Bakelude line, yes. Also including Transit Mod 3 if you were uh, move across to it. There we go, just keep in mind where we're going. 
Um, house cost of living for us, not too bad in my case because I still live home with my family, so I might have too much higher cost to have to worry about. I Means I can save a bit more as well. Hopefully, eventually, what's on where to move out in the future, but that's future as problem for now. It's trainers. Uh, so, very shortly, should be leaving the um, tunnel. Should have a short appearance of Southampton left hand side. And then drive alongside the Machipods lines for a little bit. The Machipods and Jubilee lines. And then from there, branch off on our own little route away via Rice Slip and towards High Wickham, but of course, I'm meeting early at Stirrard's Cross. Uh, welcome, Ricardo. How are you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. Sounds there, dude. So now, in a slightly shorter tunnel. Very shortly, we'll exit just by Finchley Road. We're we'll crossing a little bit, so edges are off at the moment, nothing too excessive. We should get to manage up to any problems. So, to our right side now, we've got the Metropolitan and Jubilee line tracks, and they're on parallel with us up towards uh, Wembley and Eastern Junction. Now passing West Hampton on our right hand side, West Hampton Jubilee Line Station. We'll cross over the London Overground, just by Iverson Road. That's the same West Hampton Station, and then of course West Hampton Thames Link, just a little bit more for that. Trains in the uh, line around, so you see there, got an uh, underground S stock Metropolitan Line service on the run. So another chill turn at past 165 into Marlebone. Packed on milk on the throttle, so you end up hit 50 miles per hour. Some parallel running here. Uh, find that. Should make a pass through Roslyn Green. It's going to be and stop. Next time the Met Line there will stop, we'll be at Wembley Park. So I will never stop on this little section of track between here and the uh, our own Wembley Stadium Station. And we use essentially Road, which is running parallel to Chilton Tracks as we exit the tunnel. The only time Chilton and the Met Line will cross will be at uh, Harrow Hill, and of course, then the section of track that runs up to. Uh, Aylesbury via Amersham, where then the Metline terminates. We'll draw back a little bit more now since we've been downhill and we've some quite nice now our speed there. Give the, uh, the Metline driver a wave as we overtake him. Better well, Mr. Metline. <laughs> yeah, yeah, she's going a bit too fast now, so a hard bit of braking. That being said, it goes up to the side miles per hour in a minute, so. To worry about too much. Now yeah, approaching Dollars Hill, well, the map's not loading properly. Hmm, come on, map. Updates. I'm missing a uh, tar down the map. Oh well. <laughs> it's not the in the world, it's like that's a normal second. Yeah, passing through Dodd's Hill now. Uh, Hounds service, this one's about 40 minutes, Ricardo. 40 minutes from Marlebone to Gerard's Cross. You can see on the bottom there the HUDs, you've got one we said it's going to pass just there behind me in a second. That should be our first stop. We've got to an increase speed of me to departing here at the Buttery, so we've got two minutes to arrive and stop. Uh, Neeson Station right now, Neeson Depot just ahead. We now branch away from the 
uh, Chilton Main Line Stroke, uh, Metropolitan Main Line, and up towards uh, I believe this track here takes us via uh, uh, Rice Lip and towards uh, Jarrod's Cross. Maybe that's normal now. The uh, Chilson one depot to the left hand side. The old coach is in the Royal Stock Park from here. That oh, one be stadium, of course. Got to see that on the view. <laughs> a little bit breaking the place now since we are. Going top of the station. Uh, reference point stopping at a station. Um, so apart from a little timetable window on top right here, which is supposed behind the chat, chat two seconds, you've got to see it. So you've got a little timetable here at the top which shows you your uh, uh, station times. And uh, essentially, it's a case of uh, giving out the signals and route landmarks that you to start sending train down at certain points. I mean, some routes are better than others, that. Chilton have a relatively good idea. Um, I'll have now this route a couple of times to train sim. Placing station uh, stop car markers with poles is very handy. Um, <laughs> yeah, when we, when we say the, um, yeah, you really can just look out for landmarks. This train makes station stop stations. So it's time is now 53. The part here at 53, of course, what if passengers to board with these bits and marks? So you tad bit behind schedule, but things have catch up with later at station down the line. I do enjoy train sim, I should do a lot more often, you are right Jack. And as I get back into the flow of streaming again, because like I said I did take that little break over the winter months. But as I get back into the flow of things, I'm sure I'll be able to uh, start pushing a bit more of a mix between train sim and flight sim. This train is not liking this departure, is it? Welcome on board, Come on. To avoid unnecessary security events, please do not be just got to push me a little bit. Stay rolling. Let's try again, shall we? Little bit healthier. Still very slow, though, I must admit. Minute late for Wembley Stadium. I can actually done Sudbury Hill Harrow. Uh, we did pass by Sudbury and Harrow Road, station that gets only a peak time service, four trains, uh, no, eight trains a day, four in the peak time going towards London in the morning, and the evening peak, four trains leaving London. And then they're all, I believe, the majority of them are starting or stopping at West Rice Lips. They run within London entirely, on the uh, outskirts of the centre. So the Gerald's Cross Front essentially run as the West Rice trains when they're running off peak. So they stop at all the main stations bar Sudbury so Harrow Road, and then uh, turn there just outside of London itself, stops in uh, Denham and Denham Golf Club. So, just crossed, sorry, just crossed over the uh, West Coast Man Line there. Got um, a view inside Wembley Central Station, and heading north to Kenton. Uh, now passing through Sudbury Harrow Road, the station we did not stop at Sudbury Harrow, we're about a mile in front of this one. Don't have to warn it, but sometimes we like to. Right, back at the throttle. 
So they're breaking in. That's us for next stop. So Subbihara Road, like I say, you still also have a similar service to Subbihara Road, or it was four, uh, six, eight trains a day. But a couple of years ago, with some uh, fishing local community, they then reinstated an hourly service with a thing extra train in the morning peak and evening peak as well. So Sudbury Harrow Road to get uh, Sudbury Hill Harrow gets uh, a lot more services now than it used to. Uh, welcome, future how doing? Welcome to the channel, this chat. Welcome, Greg, how you doing? Welcome to the channel. Welcome to the chat. How about doing today? Was well, uh, scenery it's definitely pre uh, <laughs> developments at the station. They've rebuilt it since. Not the best break in the world. Oh well. So now passengers boarding spot here. Give them a few moments for that. Uh, not been too bad myself, dude. How about you? Not been too bad. Busy at work. Busy with the. Uh, I actually went out towards uh, went out to London with my mates today. Had a little walk around uh, the St Catherine Docks. Went way up towards um, uh, was it Syracuse? Yeah, Syracuse. And then got the train back towards uh, London and home. But yeah, not too bad myself. Not too bad. How about yourself? All right, next station, North Holtz Park. Acceleration, not our friend today. <laughs> I mean, the 165 units are not the speediest in the world, but I must admit, I expected a lot more than that. Those are the parts. We've uh, got the Piccadilly line out across us over in a few minutes. We'll enter a hill, enter a tunnel. The East Porsche Tunnel we're entering through is just a uh, field of grasslands. That's just kind of here. But as we exit from the west side, we have a lot of little bridge overhead, and that's which carries the uh, Piccadilly line between Sudbury Hill and South Power, I think it is. And there's one more station between. Uh, there's a station between. Nope. South Power. Find us. Very you see it, yeah. Pick a new line, go to for that. Park. Flash the other signal, which tells us we're going to be taking a junction very shortly. Go nice and gentle. Start the end of the platform. That's all do. That's release. Yeah. We're a little late. Um, cool. So Northport Park. Yeah, that passage to Bond Spark here. Still close very shortly. There we go. Next station South Price we now connect with the uh run parallel to the uh, to the central line, London Ground Central Line. So we have stops at South Rice and West Rice. It. There used to be Rice Garden stuff on the Chilton lines, but closed in 1954. I want to say 54 or 56 it closed. And then the Central Line, which 
just took over all services at Gardens. But between South Ryslip and West Ryslip, we now run parallel to the London Grand Central line. Uh, pretty good at the railway so far, future. So I've seen a pick up in num passage numbers. Definitely back to pre COVID num uh, levels, that's for sure. So, busy, busy, but keeps it going quick. Uh, not sure about the A380 yet, uh, Greg. No updates on that, I'm afraid. Uh, Amazing Line, how are you doing? Rock Channel, what's chat? Hello, hello. How are you doing today, dude? So, we've got a system of power limits coming up shortly, so I won't speak up too much beyond we're doing it right now. Got a junction to take as well, and that takes us into a small siding. So, between uh, Marlebone and here, it's been double tracks. Between West and South Ryslip, then goes on to three tracks. So, you have a passing loop of two stations. You see, junction to head to the left, and then make a turn to the left. Per hour. Uh, doing good, got off, got off work. Extra shift today, which you don't need on Fridays. Uh, it's extra pay at the end of the day, so not a not bad way to do things. I know I'm doing extra, I'm doing extra shifts myself on a Monday and Tuesday. Normally rest days, but I say work always good to do. I'm now approaching South Chrysler. Left hand side now, we've got the underground uh, central line tracks. On the right, a few warehouses. And I believe our north vaults, not too far from here either, just right behind all the uh, buildings on the left hand side. So, nice and gently pull in. Probably missing a bit of scenery uh, on this room, I must say. There's some mirrors missing, stop markers missing. Uh, platform ledges. Which is odd, but I did install the group quite recently. We saw that with the other things we trained to, so I might double check on the missing files. South Rice Yeah, three minutes behind, not the end of the world. So now, three tracks, uh, not long. This is the South Rice at this junction in front of us, because that's double track, and then we hit West Rice back to triple track. Uh, triple track. But this is generally a passing loop, the service is running fast, and then now passes here at South Ryslip. In this case, it comes out of the screen, the center line is red, and therefore we have the track. Stop West Ryslip. Yeah, stick on the map, kind of to my right. So at the end of the uh, runway, the North Vault just their little grey block. Or if North Vault, just actually the uh, slight north of it. Uh, most famous now, though, for the. Uh, after Queen passed away, her body was thrown into North Vault. Same for Princess Diana. Pass through, rice comes fast. Uh, just give me a system of ground signal up to 100 on the mainland, that's fine. Of course, West Rice is not too far ahead of us, got past the central line rice at depot. Frame rate drop there as it tries to load the scenery in. Uh, come back to the throttle now, start breaking my next station. 
uh, any of our live trips coming up. So end of April I'm going to Gibraltar for a couple of nights. In June I'm off to Houston, Texas to fight some next boat. Uh, and that's it really, nothing else planned as of yet. Approaching West Chrysler. You see on the right they've got another Chilson service heading towards Marlebone. They're on the West Chrysler passing loop. It takes the uh, track very short so they haven't now the it. Uh, Toast 320, 320 Neo, I do quite like it. It's very well put together tray, uh, plane. Toast is always good for aircraft, so yeah, I'm enjoying it so far. I'm going to try and stream it again over the uh, the weekend. Uh, it comes out on the 20th, so three days to go for that one. Yeah, we're, we're quite consistently streaming time at every station. We haven't lost, lost uh, too much time. Not gaining any, not losing more, which is a good sign. Even with the slow acceleration. Alright, so welcome to West Dry Slip, the terminal end of the central line. Stops now at Denham, then Golf Club, and then very shortly after that, approaching Gerald's Cross where this train terminates. It's now close. And behind the end line. Now the pot. Now I've got a little bit of stretch towards uh, Denham, about four or five minutes driving. Uh, speed up there across the city about 100 miles per hour now for the rest of the run, as we now ride on the Chelsea main line up towards uh, uh, High Wycombe. Eventually, on the round side, we'll see the HS2 tracks around parallel with Chilton, so HS2 will be exiting a tunnel just outside of uh, West Rice And then from there, uh, runs. As far as uh, Sweden Lakes, I never remember the name of the lakes, but they run the parallel along the lakes, enter the tunnel throughout the Chilton uh, Hills, and then they run to the zone path up towards Birmingham. So you have three lines heading up to Birmingham the uh, West Coast Main Line, Birmingham New Street, uh, the Chilton Main Line, which is to Moore Street and Snow Hill, and then of course the uh, New line, the Hager Street line, which we're calling at Birmingham Curzon Street. Right, approaching uh, Denham, so bring back the cross a little bit. Uh, also across the M55, of course, the uh, former Good Peter Chance Bridge, now uh, Helch, because every bit of graffiti. London is now Helch. There's these lakes now on the round side are going to pass through. This is where the. So, Tate will run on parallel, pass the lakes, and then it goes tunneled underneath. Now that is if Helch gets built, of course, uh, Kendall, but given that most track work within London at least has now been uh, now in tunnel stages, this is where Kate's going to pick up and uh, see if they run the train service or not. But that's. Uh, for the governments to figure out this time. Uh, 
approaching Denham. Don't hear the cat in the background, can you? Nice and gently. Up to the uh, nice little sort of monitor on the right hand side. Some of the working trains in, but in reality, you can see. That'll do. Right, doors are released. Um, I haven't had any rumours about Chelsea being on train so I must admit, Dan. I wouldn't mind it. I mean, Chelsea main line's pretty good for variety, both the uh, network units 165 and also the local hordes, the class 68. That would be really good to see in train sim. Also, Chelsea Mark III is a fantastic unit. Never rode on the passenger, but I have also been with Marlebone. Um, yeah, I wouldn't mind Chelsea train sim, that's for sure. Right, it's next station up. Now I was going to start then and go up Pretty much too fast. It's been about two minutes from two stations. Uh, John Thurm, how are you doing? Watch on the chat. Welcome back, dude. How have you been? Oh, she was at fourteen seventeen, I think. So actually, you've done uh, fourteen fourteen correction. Sorry, fourteen fourteen. We're arriving at Gerald's Cross fourteen twenty. So yeah, we're still three minutes behind. Stop. Gerald's Cross with train to terminate.
So we place Charles Cross. We I'll have passenger spot train there. There's one thing, one thing for us left to do after that, which is move into the Gerald's Cross turn back sliding. Where then drive have nine minutes to break. Uh, switch over to the front cab and then set that train up ready for departure back to London Marlborough. Two car sets, it's not going to be much of a pass to walk between two trains. And yeah, that's really about it for this service. Uh, let me correct the next route is not on steam. I'm fairly sure it is on steam, Tyler. You'd have to check which just train routes are and are not on steam. I'm fairly sure. I'll, I'll check it. Well, we're nearly finished with the route, so I'll double check it once the route ends to check it on uh, steam. I think this is. Again. I think it is. I'll double check in a minute. I know there's a few just trains routes on steam, so I know you've got the uh, Metropolitan one on there. It's a. Uh, We'll see. Uh, not too bad myself, dude. Not too bad. Let's cross to Jarrah's Cross. Just have to enter the, uh, the tunnel, the Pesco Tunnel. Most famous for uh, collapsing going through construction, actually severing the Chilton Rail uh, main line for it was about six months. They just couldn't construct and rebuild this tunnel because, of course, it collapsed. They had to re uh, strengthen and restructure everything in this little section. Especially with the train approaching it uh, just a few minutes beforehand, the train clearing it about two minutes before collapse. Very fortunate though, the train was running underneath at the time. Ah, the just, just Roots on Sea anymore. Okay, we may have removed them. I wouldn't know why, but uh, potentially you'd have to remove that. Yeah, we need to be very careful not to do that red signal, but our braking is not great. We have got the uh, position. Welcome to. Jarrah's Cross, where this train terminates. So my passengers now this part in the train. This train terminates here. So just split apart, I'll give the signal a quick call, confirm that the train can proceed beyond the red aspect, albeit with the position lights in place, and it's going to turn the junction to the right. And the PLS allows, just tells the driver and dispatches that train can cross into a sliding. So, this is going to be a quick call. Uh, one. Oh, no call required. I'm going to straight to the signal. Too fast into this. Not even cut over to the right. Speedy that. Welcome to Cross Turn Back Sliding. Turn that off. Train to neutral. Remove the, the master key. At this point, that sounds for a return journey back to London Marlebone. Steam, Chilton, London, A3. 
Uh, there you go. This is the route we're on, and apart from really bad reviews, that might be too much. Still a pretty sweet mod, but it's okay. And yeah, you're right. It's no longer available on Steam. I can tell you why. So there you go. Sorry, completed. Welcome back to menu. So. Uh, Use electric twice, speeding twice so well. 90 miles in that service. It took us 43 minutes. Made to end the station without right one. Should have been eight stations as well, but it wasn't always good after record it. But uh, yeah, that was a little run up from London at Marlebone to Jarrah's Cross. Two car 36 or two car classic uh, 5 let work up turbo. So uh, yeah, not a long stream today, like a nice short one. Nice to return to train some after a little while, I'm not doing it. Um, do some flights over the weekend, of course. Put ourselves for that over the next couple of days, and then back to work for me on Monday. So, I hope you enjoyed it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you're Thank you very much for watching. I'll see you soon. Some more in action. Take care, and I'll see you.